in the longer term, the more the government sanctions church, refuses to repent, and refuses to take on the risks necessary for the work to which they are called, the more God will continue to raise up unsanctioned and at-large ministry to prepare his people for works of service. Organizations who try to save their institutional lives by taking a course of action that's safer or has less risks will lose their institutional lives. Many of the largest contributors to progress and revival in church history come from at-large followers of the Messiah who have been willing to risk everything for the gospel. We don't make disciples for a human organization or for a denomination. We make disciples for the Lord Jesus, seeking to teach them to obey everything that Christ commanded and thus ensure the ongoing multiplication of God's kingdom through all the ebbs and flows of traditional Western churches and their culture. Jesus says, follow me. I don't remember him ever saying, follow those guys meeting in the building over there on Sunday mornings. Their traditional model of church organization and use of attendance as a barometer of faithfulness is neither sufficient nor is it necessary. Follow Jesus. Follow Jesus. If you've seen what I see, that the grave is empty, then you know what I know. Anything is possible. If you see what I see, that the grave is empty, then you know.